A McGill University professor kicked off a firestorm this week over a posting on his personal Facebook account. He was critical about a press release by Quebec Premier Pauline Marois following the gold medal hockey game last Sunday. Well, what he put on Facebook led to hundreds of critical comments, and some are blaming linguistic tensions in the province. Mike Armstrong explains. Organo means carbon compounds. Dr. Joe Schwartz focuses on demystifying chemistry. He's an award-winning professor, a radio host, a best-selling author, and this week, a lightning rod. Oh, wow, look at that. Schwartz's Facebook account has been busy with what he calls nonsensical venom over a political comment. It kind of shows you the atmosphere that, that we're living in here. It all started with Canada's gold medal win in Sochi last Sunday. When Quebec Premier Pauline Marois put out a statement congratulating the men's hockey team, there was no mention of Canada. She also congratulated the Quebec-born players with no mention of Carey Price or P.K. Subban, who actually play and live in Quebec. Schwartz went to Facebook, his personal account, and wrote that Marois showed a lack of class. He also went to Google to find a picture to accompany his post and settled on this one. Schwartz saw it as a reference to Marois putting her foot in her mouth with a nod to the Pastigate affair last year. I would have never dreamt that, that anyone would look at that as anything but a caricature. Now, the Facebook update got a lot of comments, some of them over the top in both directions. There was angry criticism of Schwartz and supporters very angry with the Premier. But when the Journal de Montréal picked up the story Thursday, it exploded. Between Schwartz's Facebook account and the newspaper's comment section, thousands of people weighed in, followed by debates on radio and TV. Some have called Schwartz anti-French and told him to leave Quebec, though they weren't quite that polite about it. Schwartz deleted the picture, but isn't backing down on his criticism of Marois. As for his over-the-top critics... I don't respond to, to the uh, nuts on either side. Quebecers are likely only days away from an election call. The Premier expected to pull the plug herself, possibly as soon as Wednesday. The polls put her comfortably in the lead and looking at a majority. Now, this comes in the middle of a bitter debate over the controversial Charter of Values and altogether has tensions in Quebec running high and both sides particularly sensitive. There's a defensiveness certainly amongst the PQ as they smell victory. Um, there's also a defensiveness in the opposition because some of them smell defeat. One opposition member called Marois not mentioning Canada petty and small-minded. That's incredible. But it was consistent. Throughout the Olympics, on her Facebook account, she only congratulated Quebec athletes and at no point made any reference to their country. Mike Armstrong, Global News, Montreal.